Hello students, in this video session we will discuss about uh, the important concept of uh, this topic that is properties of genetic material, properties of uh, a genetic material. See here the it is also referred as criteria, criteria for the genetic material criteria for the genetic material C either criteria or properties or the features which is expressed by the genetic material it should be fulfilled ok. So, let us we see already we know that genetic material is nothing but that is the S yes, which is the material cause the heredity right. So, inheritance the material which can carry the information from parents to offspring you understand. So, so the genetic material means here this is the biomolecule which can transfer the characters from parents to offsprings. So, it is involved in the heredity which is involved in the heredity or inheritance we can say that inheritance right. See the genetic materials are two one is I will take here DNA, DNA is one of the genetic material and RNA is also a genetic material RNA there are two genetic materials uh, together we call it as a nucleic acids. So, what we call nucleic acids. So, both are together we call it as a nucleic acids already we discussed this one right. So, DNA is the genetic material, DNA is a genetic material in most of the living beings including prokaryotes and eukaryotes and prokaryotes see. So, it includes that means DNA is the genetic material in prokaryotes, prokaryotes, eukaryotes, eukaryotes and some viruses and some viruses right some viruses also having DNA is the genetic material ok. So, these are the examples what I am giving here that means almost uh, uh, more than 99 percent of organisms are having DNA is the genetic material including plants animals ok either unicellular multicellular all comes under this one. But RNA as the genetic material in few viruses in few viruses. So, example you can take HIV is one of the example and even at present coronavirus. So, that is also one of the example for this yes RNA virus it is and even you can take the uh, TMV in plants TMV ok T TMV tobacco mosaic virus TMV. So, tobacco mosaic virus HIV is human immunodeficiency virus it caused the cause to human beings and TME caused to tobacco plant tobacco plant ok plant virus and human virus even some bacteriophage ok uh, QB bacteriophage is also one of the example QB bacteriophage QB Q beta bacteriophage bacteriophage means it is a virus bacteriophage which infects the virus. So, this QB infects the virus and this one infects the animals this one infects the plants. So, I have chosen the examples and many more are there here right. So, that is RNA is the genetic material in these viruses ok, but some viruses have DNA, DNA is the genetic material right. So, this is about the DNA RNA as you know that is what the genetic material. But these molecules biomolecules what we call nucleic acids especially DNA and RNA must express they must express the some criteria they must show some criteria. So, which are necessary for saying the it is the genetic material. So, that is what the properties of the basic properties of genetic material yes the genetic material the genetic material must fulfill it must fulfill the following following criteria criteria 
first one I will take here first one. So, that is the it should be able to s yes, it should it should produce produce its replica replica it should produce the its replica replica means its own copy ok it is a copy of a, its parent right. So, this phenomenon is also known as replication what you call replication the phenomenon is called replication. So, this replication is essential for the yes, genetic material. So, which can duplicate itself or self replication we also call it as self replication that is what uh, it is producing the replica that means uh, by the replication process here for example, I will take the. Uh, so, this is the DNA molecule here ok I will take it as a DNA molecule. So, it can produce its uh, two parent temp strands and new strands are formed like this new strands are formed ok this is what the replication two copies are formed its own by replication process. The replication of this uh, we will discuss in the next video. Let us we understand that uh, what is replica, replica means it is a its own kind it is copy ok it is copy it is able to copy itself in the cell in the cell. So, it can able to produce its own kind ok. So, that is what the molecule understood, but uh, there is no possibility of such thing this process is not possible replication is not possible for other biomolecules like uh, proteins, carbohydrates, fats or etcetera ok which are not replicating itself right. So, here the replication is possible for the genetic material that especially DNA and RNA. DNA and RNA are showing this uh, what you call replication or also called self replication self replication synthesis of its own ok they can synthesize their own ok. So, it is possible here that is possible with the DNA and RNA not by any other protein molecules right this is one of the criteria. Next one is the second one is they shows it must it must is yes, allow the slow changes it must allow allow the slow changes what you call it must allow the slow changes slow changes means here we can consider it as mutation mutations right mutations leads to a evolution it causes the evolution evolution right the mutation is essential for the genetic material right slow changes must occurs in the see here students. So, that molecule means genetic material must allow the changes that cause the evolution that is required for the evolution. So, it gives the scope for the evolution that is what the mutation is very essential that must express the mutation what you call. So, the it provides the scope for the changes that changes are nothing but yes change in the genetic material is known as a mutation in course of time. So, they may get changed ok due to mutation. So, in the change in the genetic material. So, it leads to in the next generation that species may become different new species may origin ok. So, that is called evolution. So, mutations are the essential mutants mutations are the essential for the evolution right. So, next criteria is third I will take here third criteria is. So, genetic material genetic material must be must be stable yes genetic material must be stable. So, it is chemically here can take chemically 
chemically and both structurally. Structurally, they must be stable. Stable with the chemical things and stable with the structure. It should be structurally both chemically it should be stable right or it must be stable. Here chemically it is less reactive, less reactive, it is less reactive and structurally more stable. It is structurally structurally it is more stable, structurally more stable and chemically less reactive which is less reactive and structurally more stable. See stability of the compound, so by different factors are used here, see uh, in Griffith's experiment what we observed, so what he did the heat killed that uh, thing is used there, okay, okay. heat is applied to kill the means that uh, what you called virus type, right. So, that remains its uh, original properties, even applying heat also that uh, molecule, one molecule was there. So, that was actually DNA at presently we know that, okay. So, but the what he was doing the his experiment no, during that time he was applied the heat to destroy it. But some molecules get degenerated or destroyed, but one molecule is become stable for the applying heat. So, that is what the structurally even by applying heat also it will be more stable, okay. even applying after apply of heat. So, what happens they remain stable structurally and when we add other uh, what you call enzymes or when we change the pH, so remains uh, less reactive. Okay. So, the chemically also it is stable and structurally also stable. So, that is what the DNA, DNA usually more as yes, more stable rather than RNA because of uh, there are two things are there. So, here DNA has uh, first thing is yes, uh, deoxyribose because that uh, OH only one OH is there here, only it has one OH and in RNA two OH molecules are there. Okay. And next one more thing is in nitrogen bases. So, here thymine is there, there uracil is there. Uracil is little unstable compared to this one thymine. Thymine is more stable so that it is become chemically less reactive and structurally more stable even for the temperature and even for the what we call heat which is observed uh, as we observed in the Griffiths experiment. right? So, genetic material must be stable related to chemical or structural. Structurally both chemically they are stable that is what chemically it should be less reactive or maybe not reactive for most of the chemicals. Okay. So, uh, next one the structurally also more stable right. So, this is the third criteria and next one fourth you can consider fourth criteria that is it should express, it should express the Mendelian, it should express the itself, it should express, it should express itself, yes, itself in the form of, in the form of Mendelian characters, Mendelian, Mendelian characters. It should express itself in the form of Mendelian characters as we know that. So, genetic material is the store, stores the information, okay. it can express. Okay. So, usually DNA, uh, uh, DNA does not directly express with the help of RNA it will express because messenger RNA is required there okay then the it will helps to synthesize the protein so that means mendelian characters are expressed means uh, the protein synthesis behind that uh, process is there that is the uh, protein synthesis is takes place but uh, RNA can synthesize 
okay uh, protein okay so which is uh, helps in the synthesis of protein and dna helps in the uh, st store the genetic information okay so the dna versus rna uh, further more differences and compa comparison we are going to discuss in the next video okay thank you students